So, hi everyone, uh, my name is Peter from Chenidens, which is our brand for the countries of uh, Czech, uh, Czech Republic and Slovakia, but we are also part of MCH Travel, based here in Vancouver. And this is not a video uh, where I would like to uh, introduce another uh, great school here in Vancouver we work with, and which is, and that is a Cornerstone. And today I have a luxury uh, sitting here with uh, William, the CEO of Cornerstone. Hello everybody, uh, I'm William, CEO of Cornerstone, so nice to be with you, it's so awesome. nice to be working with Peter, MCH and, uh, and hopefully uh, today we're answering some of your questions uh, about our program, about yeah. our culture, about how Cornerstone is so different and special apparently. Yes, yeah, thank you for, uh, thank you for your time, because like, we met a few weeks ago Correct. and uh, like right away when um, I had a chance to talk to you about uh, Cornerstone and, and different programs, I got really excited, I was thank very you. impressed with what you do and uh, I also so like that you offer a lot of programs other schools don't mm -hmm. and in like very interested uh, very interesting fields mm -hmm. especially tech mm -hmm. so I would like to I would like to touch that so for the start could you maybe tell us a little bit about yourself maybe your background and okay. what's your role at the school okay well thank you I, I'm quite excited I can talk on and on and on and on <laughs> because that's a question we get often asked uh, but you know why I uh, why I'm I'm so proud of Cornerstone uh, or for students or staff for partner is because at Cornerstone uh, we know international students better than know any other school. The reason behind is I was at an internationalism myself. So I've been through the whole process years ago. Okay, uh, initially from France, I uh, landed in Canada in, uh, actually it will be nine years ago, wow. within the next few weeks, so it's an anniversary, I'm pretty happy. Supposedly I was uh, to stay only three months. Okay, I was supposed to stay the winter like, like everyone else. Everybody, <laughs> you know, you come here. Oh no, I'm just staying for a short period of time. I was only here to study English, and uh, long story short, I got really excited about the city, really excited about the people, really excited about the opportunities, you know, so, and of course the quality of lifestyle. So those factors were really, really attractive. I was studying in France, graduated in a business school, and. The education and the work in Europe didn't excite me so much because opportunities were difficult to, uh, to, to achieve. Uh, the education system was very standard and uh, hierarchic and archaic. So I said, I need something new. In Europe, all over the world, what you see, you see on TV those beautiful uh, American and Canadian campus where you can be yourself, do sports and so on. So I said, I love to experience that. So I did. Finally, I enrolled in the school in Vancouver. And then kept on studying to, you know, to see what my opportunities. And uh, sooner than enough, I said, "Wow, I love school so much. I rather work for schools, you know. Yeah. And uh, I love helping people. That's, you know, something that is very important for us. So decided to, you know, uh, uh, work with Cornerstone. And uh, since since then, it's been a dream. It's it's amazing. Uh, yeah, I I always say I never work because I'm I'm coming here helping students, uh, international students mainly. Yeah, love it. You enjoy. It. Oh, yeah. it's so much. We have uh, 57 nationalities. So let me tell you, I travel without traveling. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty good because it's very much, you know, interesting to learn about where whoever comes from. Like we have students from uh, from uh, Asia, Latin America, South America, from Europe. My French peers, my French buddies here, the, the French mafia. Uh, we have them here as well. I have students from Australia. We are the only career college in Vancouver to have Australian students, right? So we have uh, we have people from all over the world, and uh, we call ourselves uh, and we act like it. This is important because sometimes you give yourself a title, but you don't act like it. We act and and call ourselves the Cornerstone family. A little bit of a big family, but we <laughs> remain a family. At Cornerstone, our goal, the goal that I always dream of, and now it's happening, uh, and everybody shares it, it's truly to have a, a sense of, uh, of community. That's why we're Cornerstone Community College, because we want to make sure that staff students help each other on the same line. There's no hierarchy in our, in our, in our school. Your teacher, uh, your instructor, they will inspire you, they will mentor you, they will joke with you, they will uh, teach you in a tough way, on a friendly way, they will be here for the good and bad time. And they will make the bad good. That's what we do. And uh, we are the only school to have a dog, 
We have uh, <laughs> you met Mr. Yes. Milo. We're calling the director of happiness. <laughs> He's here to, to, to make you smile, to take you out from your stressful day, you know, whether it's at work, whether it's at home, whether it's at school. We all have, maybe sometimes we miss home. Uh, we have uh, our parents, our family, our friends from home, and we say, wow, yeah, I miss them. I wish I could be with them a little bit more often than, yeah. than I can afford in time and money. Well, you know what? Just go and spend uh, two minutes with Milo. And then <laughs> takes away all your concern and, and it gives you so much uh, so much so much love and and yeah. we have students here staying at the college from 8 a.m. we usually open at 7 30 uh, 7 30 8 a.m. Uh, Monday to Friday and we close the doors around 10 mm. so it's really nice because students you can come and just hang out yeah and that's what they do hang out awesome. with themselves or with us and we, we do hang out a lot with our students, maybe too much. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. So, um, so lo let's look at uh, what Cornerstone offers, mm -hmm. right? Because um, uh, Cornerstone offers uh, English programs. Correct. And it's actually uh, one of the reason, uh, like the reason I um, I got in, got in touch with you because I was looking for a school that offers evening classes. Yes. And I found <laughs> like Cornerstone yes. offering that, and then we got in touch, and I really like the programs and want to explore that area as well. So, uh, tell us a little bit about it. English, English mm -hmm. courses, English programs. So we have our own ESL school. Yeah, we are a career college, a professional college. We are known for that. We 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 place people in the workforce. I always say to to students, why are you going to school? M most of the time, students say, well, for education. I say, no, this is wrong. You go if you want education, go to VPL. It's free. Mm -hmm. Vancouver Public Library, YouTube, Udemy. I say you go to school to get a career. But what we realize is before heading to your career, you have steps, okay? And the very first step is to speak the language. Why? Because you need to work with people, we need to work together, so we need to communicate as much as we can and talk, you know, about the structures, the process, the fees, etc. Number two is because I need to, you know, establish myself in a country. So English is very, very, very first step, okay? And English will give me the sense of communication, number one. But secondly, and what people always forget, it will give me the confidence. That's right. The confidence that I need to come and talk with Peter and sell myself to Peter and eventually getting him to hire me. So our English program is divided in two parts, okay? We have what we call the intensive. Intensive, it's a more... Um, 9.30 to 3 p.m. This is a five-hour course Monday to Friday. Excellent. If you are in a rush, you say, I arrive in Canada, I don't have much time, I want to get to the right level right away because I need my career to get rolling. There is a lot of job in, in Vancouver that you can get access to without strong English skills, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but if you want to grow quickly or get a better job or go back to a new industry, start a new career when English is foundation. So I really uh, suggest students to, to go to that intensive if they are on, on the clock. Some students, uh, they have more time. They have more like a slow pathway because they're not in rush or often Sometimes the English skills, it's, it's good enough to, you know, navigate around, but they want to uh, get the next step rolling. So in that case, we invite them to attend one, well, one of the only schools to have evening ESL. So it's uh, three times a week, Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursday, from six to nine. So tailored perfectly for professional workers. 100% of the students were attending. This evening class, uh, usually working during the daytime, whether it's in an office we have, whether it's in a F&B, like a hospitality management, a construction, uh, any profile. Yeah. They are anywhere from 18 years old to yeah. 60 years old. And it's a beautiful to see evening class compared to a morning class. It's also nice. It's very dynamic because the teachers are well aware. After your long day at work, going <laughs> back to school is like, oh my God, I yeah. might go to the gym. I might go to watch TV. I might go enjoy the beautiful uh, English Bay, Sunset Beach or whatever, but I'm stuck to go at Cornerstone. Well, <laughs> don't worry. The teacher we have in the evening are amazing and know how to keep you awake, keep you interesting and keep you going in the learning environment. English at Cornerstone is professional, fun, uh, and, and, and accurate. Our teacher in ESL for both morning and evening, Peter, are just amazing because they, they, first of all, they have years and years of experience. And what they do is every month, 
they will customize their lesson mm. based on the crowds. You know what I mean? We have very small classroom, I would say. You know, 12 students, 13 students in a classroom, that's a small crowd. Therefore, you can connect with your teacher really, really good. And I can say, well, I'm William, I'm from France, my goals are that, that, and that. I need, so, teacher, can you help me for my resume? Or teacher, can you help me for my conversational skills? That's why I need help. And Peter is in my classroom as well. He's excellent in speaking, mm. but his weakness is reading. So the teacher will customize the, the lesson as much as he can in order for Peter to focus on his writing and uh, reading, let's say, and me to speak, focus on my speaking. So yes. we both progress on all of that. So we are very, very personal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I gotta say, because um, I, I can tell that you have a, a same approach as me, that you just don't look at the, like the short-term goals, right? But you, you look at a big picture, right? Yeah. Not just come and, uh, and learn some English, but Correct. what do you actually want to achieve with that, right? Again, exactly. if you come for the evening classes, what do you, wanna, what do you want, right? Absolutely. Where do you want to get, and I get it reflects from you to the down there mm -hmm. to, the, for the, to the whole school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. All right, so um, let's look at the college programs. Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's touch on them. Um, yeah. Well, basically <laughs> the college program, so English is a pathway for us, meaning that English is a tool, as you said. With English, that, then you can do a lot of things. But it, what can you do? Well, how about becoming a professional? So just so you know, the demographic at Cornerstone is very, we, we, try, we run data every month to make sure that we know our students to the very best level. As I say, we are very personal. We are like a family, so you need to know your family. So not only name of the student. No, I want, or, and our whole team want to know all about them. Where they are from, what's their professional background, academic background, what are their goals, what are their dreams, what is the challenge? Our average age at Cornerstone in terms of students is 27.7, so 28 years old, all right? At 28 years old, you come with luggage, not the physical luggage. I'm talking about emotional, professional luggage. Some students we have, and, and, and I love them all, it's, they have kids back home waiting for them. They have wives, they have husbands, they have their businesses, you know? So we want to know about that because we can, again, tailor the career, tailor the academic portion in, a, in accordingly to their background, to their luggage, as I call it. We have an open door policy. So when it comes on to college program, we can really learn about the student progress on a daily, on a daily. So the student pop by, anybody's office, whether it's mine, whether it's um, the student advisor team, the admission team, or simply the instructor, or, or beautiful reception, and just chat about their day. Yeah. And this is how we collect data too. Data is not only about a survey online, complicated. We collect feedback from our students every minute to make yeah. sure that they're on the right track, we're on the right track, and we keep a family environment. Our students, uh, partners, friends from all over the world, please note, at Cornerstone, we are big families, so we like, you know, we like to like you and know uh, how we can contribute to your success. So what we decided is to divide our career college in two parts. This is very important. You know, we follow the industry. We are what we call industry focus. Educational institutions are academically focused. We call them academia. We are industry focused, 500%. All our instructors um, for the programs, they are either coming from the industry, okay? So for example, I say hi to one of our teachers, Mr. Sheikh. Sheikh has 25 years of uh, executive experience into the hotel environment. He's been GM, general manager for many hotels. So he brings his big time experience to the classroom. So when he talks, when he teach, let me tell you, he's bringing real life examples yes. that he had had. He had hired hundreds of people, let go hundreds of people all over the world, so he doesn't teach, he inspires. Mm. So that's what we care about. Oh, most of our teachers are also professional today. They have their own company, they are consultant, or they are working for large corporation. We had teacher uh, in, in some program working for Google, Microsoft, uh, SAP, when it comes on to tech. So we divide it in two. We have number one, the management program. 
Uh, here in this campus at 609 West Hastings, uh, my home. Okay, <laughs> and we have another uh, campus which we call the Tech Campus, and that's on uh, Granville and Robson for uh, two prime locations. Yeah, I've uh, been there. Really good. It's think, super yeah. nice. Uh, in the Hastings campus, here on the management campus, we do uh, basically three programs, four programs including English. So English we already covered. What are the three management programs that we offer? We offer hospitality management, international business management, and of course a brand new customer relations specialist. Okay? Those programs have the same actually denominator, one same components. Okay? I personally, and I'm sure you're the same Peter, I hate big books, okay? Yes. I don't have a backpack, I cannot carry a all by bags and so on. What I have on me every day it's is my cell phone, eventually my tablet or laptop, okay? But I don't want paper because it's bad for the environment, I'm sorry, but it is. And I can have access to it anywhere in the world. Yeah. I'm flying, I can do. I'm in the sky train, the subway, I can use my phone. So all of my... Yeah. And the other thing is, because I, I feel like you really try to adjust to the to the current you know industry and market and you know if you print books you want to keep using them for a few years you right? right but if these uh, things change then like uh, it's very easier to just you, update uh, you are so right mm -hmm. uh, having is a quality of ebook as we call the e learning that's what we are we call it smart learning uh, every program in management 100% digital, mm. which means that you will not receive a piece of paper from us. Please don't count on it. And uh, the only thing we print for students is their resume. That's it. There is no point. Of, uh, in English, we are book based, but uh, all the rest of the programs are all 100% digital. Here at this Hastings campus, just so you know, we have a ratio of uh, uh, 0.8 students for one computer. That means we have more computers than students, okay, at any given time. What does it mean? Students, if you're going to learn, to review, or to practice, come here. We have a lot of computers available for you. If you don't have a laptop at home, we'll help you out. So, we are very proud. The beautiful thing is, as you said, box update, knowledge is update, business, hospitality, all of those is change. So, if you have a book that's printed in 2016, but you're in 2020, well, I'm sorry, mm. a lot of things have changed. Five years ago, Airbnb was not a thing. That's right. Today, Airbnb is one of the main shareholders in the hospitality and travel industry. So, having it online, you will yeah, have access. Yeah, more flexibility. And, Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. So, hospitality management are programs that I love because hospitality management, it's uh, hiring like crazy in Canada, in Vancouver, there's a lot of job. 96% of four students find a job in 30 days in hospitality management, so very proud of that. Uh, it's a form of eight months to two years program, so it's very flexible as well. I want to try it a little bit, or I want a full stack uh, diploma. It's approved by the American Hotel Lodging Association, which is the largest uh, organization in terms of learning for hospitality management. We are proud representative for, for what we call the LA, American Hotel Lodging Association. So hospitality is something we know how to do. We've been teaching it for years and years and years, so it's a core program at Cornerstone. We have a dream team uh, uh, in, uh, in terms of hospitality management. Instructor from all over the world themselves, you know, from, we have a teacher from Pakistan, mm -hmm. from the Middle East, uh, uh, Mora is from the Mauritius Island, uh, all of them has been uh, working for any type of uh, hotel. Yeah, I think that's very important, especially today, because I feel like a lot of people uh, have realized that because information, you can look it up, you know, in a second, right? So Absolutely. today it's not about the information, it's about the experience, experience. and the practical skills. And yeah, you want to, you want your lecturer, your teacher to be someone from the industry, right? For sure. Because, um, and all these things, again, they change on a daily basis, so they can, you know, all the time bring fresh, fresh experience, fresh, fresh um, exactly. information. Fresh and, knowledge. Mm. Yes, you are so right. Because they, are, they care. They care about their industry so much. They are passionate about it. So when you teach, you not only teach knowledge, you said it, you teach also the passion. You deliver the passion. So we are so happy to have a, a premium instructor to be with you uh, at all time. And at Cornerstone, we are personal. Teachers, they share their cell phone number. They share their email address. So, I mean, you can reach them at any time. Uh, sharing any concern that you have, whether it's professional, academic, personal, they are here for you and they want to be here for mm -hmm. you. Those are management programs that we offer is our international business management. 
I love international business management because it's a cutting edge program. I, when I was in university, I studied business and finance. Let me tell you, throughout my curriculum, I had class such as chemistry, biology, etc. I call them waste of time. I'm sorry, okay. I'm here for business, guys. I want to focus, okay? Teach me, you know, a lot of a little, okay? I want to specialize. I don't want to know a little of a lot, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So in business, our program is tailor-made for students with or without a background. In our business program, I have numerous students with master's degrees already, MBAs, but they are here. You say, you know, my MBA was here. I really want to focus and get to the North American international business style. That's what we do. On top of, uh, of the, the Monday to Friday class and lectures that we have, very practical, very changing. Lots of companies are coming to, to our classroom and uh, work with our, with, our, with our students as well to give them practical knowledge. Uh, we also invite our students on a regular basis during weekends. It's free, it's optional for workshops. Professional workshop to get additional certification within their field and be more uh, hiring, so to get better jobs. The very last program that we have in terms of uh, management, this is, this is a fantastic program. This is exactly why you know, I, we want to help the international students. You know, I realized that getting a study permit will allow you to work part-time while you are a student, as you know, Peter. Right. Yeah. And then you'll get a full-time work permit under your co-op. So I study six months, I work full-time six months during my co-op. Great. There's one condition to that. I need to speak English. Mm. Because in order to get my study permit for a co-op program, I have to meet certain English requirements, which are usually quite challenging. It frustrated me a lot because I said, this is not fair. We need to find a way where we can give students access to a co-op program with a study and work permit, even though their English is still building it. Okay? Which is why we created Customer Relation Specialist Program. Customer Relations Program, it's, a, it's like a business program on the foundation uh, level. The English requirement is only 3.5. Extremely accessible. Extremely, you know, even if you have spent one month of English or you, don't, you are not so good yet, you can have access to working um, and study permit for two reasons. Reason number one, your English is keep growing months to months to months. You cannot learn English in one week. It takes months, years until you, you get to Peter's level. Okay? It will take me. 20 years for that. But my point is, in order to learn English, I always say to students, well, stay away from only your English class. Because when you study English only in an English class, you get comfortable with your teacher. He's your friend. You know his accent. You know your classmates. You know, it's easier. You are allowed to make mistakes, right? Mm. You are allowed to ask one question. Professor, can you repeat? Okay? Now, can you learn... In this environment, yes, but not as fast as if you are working. When you are working, you are in a stress environment. You cannot tell your boss, boss, can you repeat? <laughs> no, one time, two times. You have to rush. Therefore, we wanted to give access to the students to a, a program where they can work and keep improving their English within yes. a business uh, foundation. So the customer relations specialist Cutting edge again topic, uh, sales and marketing, business communication, business marketing, uh, negotiation, and so on mm. and so forth. It's fantastic. Yeah, 100% agree. Mm. 100% agree. So this is, uh, this is for our management program to answer. And then we have the tech campus. <laughs> okay, uh, the tech campus. So what we did is we divided our program in two parts, management and tech. We love tech. We love computers. We love IT. Uh, so we designed a full campus only for them. The reason behind is this. If I study hospitality management, Peter, and you study web and mobile application development, you are a programmer, I'm a hotel guy. Mm. Well, I'm sorry, you don't have much in common yeah. here. I cannot help you much in your career, neither you can, okay? How about I put you in a room or in a building with all other programmers? They speak your language. They like the same thing as you do. They probably hang out the same place. Yeah. They can help each other. Well, that's what we did. We created the tech campus where we offer currently three different programs. We offer web and mobile application development program. This program will, in, we have students from any background. It's insane. It's, we have students who are completely new to the web and uh, developer flow. They, what they do, they will learn how to make 
web and uh, uh, mobile application on iPhone, on Android, software development, they will learn like Java, C++, C Sharp, uh, Node.js. If you don't know what I mean, just Google it up, okay? Because <laughs> this is high-end, guys. The IT world in British Columbia is moving so fast, in Canada, but yes. especially in Vancouver. Vancouver is called, you know, uh, the Silicon Valley of the North, exactly. right? That's right. So we have... Apple is building a headquarter here. Amazon is building a headquarter here next to our campus. We have a company like Amazon. They are hiring a lot and they need talent. So we decided to do a web and mobile application program. It's a two years program. Intense, nice, uh, where during the first year you will study and during the second year you will do your co-op so you can get paid and practice. Along your first year, you also have uh, some company to interact with, with real projects. So like that, you can start to build your portfolio, make some contact. We go to a lot of events. We go to a lot of events. Please connect with us on Facebook, see where we're going in terms of events, it's insane. We, we have a partnership with a non-for-profit organization as well that give grants, so sponsor companies to hire you. So it's pretty cool. Um, Webman Mobile loves that program. Then we have a newer program that we launched. This is called Digital Marketing. It's amazing. You all know Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You all know Google mm -hmm. uh, or Bing. Uh, so, based on Photoshop, if you want to make things pretty, if you want to take yeah. a picture, make yourself more pretty. That's very useful. Uh, but uh, so, digital marketing is all about that. It's all yes. about getting a brand outside on the online. Marketing today in North America is digital. Yes. If you want to know about your company or promote your company, well, stay away from the newspaper. I need to be <laughs> on something like yeah. that. I need to be found online to a very specific target. Mm. Yeah, so digital marketing is yeah. a six month program and a six month co-op. It's amazing. Mm. What I love about the digital marketing program is the number of certifications students will get. We have, throughout the six months of studies, students will take a lot of exams and they will receive official certificates from Google, from Facebook, from Hotspot, from HotSuite, uh, using cutting edge technologies such as Slack. So basically, mm -hmm. while you are studying, you're studying a bit to become professional. Yeah. I always say to my students, when you go to an interview after a digital marketing program, you don't introduce yourself as a student anymore. You will come to an interviewer and you will say, hi interviewer, uh, my name is William, I'm a Google certified expert. Yeah. And this is my diploma. Yeah. So that brings some uh, pretty much a seriousness into the, the, right. the form. Yeah, and, and um, if you look at the courses, it's all practical skills. Practical. Yeah, I, I don't see any like theory about no. uh, you know marketing, but it's all like practical skills practical. you can, um, can just use. And oh yes, yeah, it's uh, it's very practical. We work, for example, with numerous number of startups. We love startups at Cornerstone. We just love the startup community, and uh, uh, and basically a lot of startups are coming to us hiring our students for, for their projects such as SEO strategy, uh, Facebook, I mean, ma social media campaign or, or such. So students can work with startups yeah. on campus and really practice what yeah. they've learned, apply what they learned. And a real project. Real project with real investments, with real targets, and then see, you know, where they find themselves mm -hmm. the best. And hopefully, this short experience with the startup and the students can turn to a permanent position. The startup can hire them. So that's our goal. Yeah. Our goal, cornerstone, is what? We define ourselves as a bridge between a classroom exactly. to a workforce. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to do. Yeah, that's how I feel like it. You really want to give you know students opportunities and connect them with companies, startups and give them you know these opportunities Absolutely. to you know connect with other people to maybe make their own team or work for a startup, work for yes. a company. Yes. Which is amazing, right? And um, after you finish you have practical skills, yes. you have certificates, you have work experience yes. and you're like ready. <laughs> you're ready. You know in order to find a job in Canada it's very simple. I tell that to all my students, okay? You need three things. No, you know, it's not rocket science. You know, the, why you go to school, I just said it, you go to school to get a career. You don't go to school for knowledge. You, you, what's your mm -hmm. goal? You, knowledge is a tool. Yeah. Your goal, using those tools, is to get a career. In order to get your career, you need three things. And it's not only William saying it, 
It's a former international student saying it. In order to get a job, a career of rolling, you need three things. Okay, so always think about it. Whether tomorrow you want to study at Cornerstone or any other school, please take into consideration those three things. The very first thing, you need education in knowledge. What am I talking about? If I want to work in digital marketing, I know I need to know about it. I need to be an expert in what I do, right? So I need knowledge. That's the number one. In order to get my care in, in Canada or in Vancouver, I also need experience. Okay? That is so correct. I need a portfolio or something. I need to, to show that I'm already a little bit of a professional. It doesn't have to be a full time five years experience at Microsoft. Mm -hmm. It can be all about who I know. It's who knows me. Mm -hmm. That's important. And so those three factors knowledge, experience, and network. Well, guess what? Think about one of our programs. Let's talk about international business again or marketing or web and mobile app. Within one year or within two years, what you'll have? You'll have knowledge, you'll come to class, okay? You will also have experience because we will help you uh, and give you all the support to find a part-time job and or full-time job if you're in co-op. So you get the experience checked. And your network, of course, will grow two ways. Number one, we invite a lot of companies here, okay? So you'll meet with them, you'll meet with CEOs, we'll meet with presidents, we'll meet with owners, you'll meet with HR and hiring manager. Your network is there. People from your industry, that's what you need to surround yourself with, okay? So, and your network will grow even more during your co-op work experience. So you get knowledge, you get your experience rolling, and you get your network. Three things to get your career. And of course, after you graduate, you can open the door to long-term opportunity in Canada if you want to stay. It's possible uh, through different immigration program. Uh, but and and we're here to help you in any shape or form. Yes, <laughs> amazing, amazing, really. And uh, there's one more program you didn't, we haven't mentioned, which is the. Network and yeah. yes, the special one network <laughs> system solution. You know, I always get the best for the end. Network system solution. I always say to, to my partners and students, if I if I ever get tired of my job, which I don't think will happen, I will become an administrator. This is the best job. This is just so you know. The, the, the recent study shows network system uh, and solution administrator, network system administrator, as they call, uh, was. In 2018, one of the most hiring IT jobs across Canada or British Columbia, which means that there is a lot of jobs. Okay, number one. Number two is extremely accessible. You don't need to be an engineer to, to, to get started on that. If you have internet at home, if you are watching us, you clearly have internet, okay? If you have a phone running, well, there's people behind making sure that your internet is well. Those are administrators. They work on server, data, cloud, and uh, and all IT stuff. So basically, this program is a two years program, and one year you will be working uh, with uh, with an excellent teacher, uh, and uh, we're so proud of someone uh, like him with over 25 years of uh, uh, experience, and uh, it, we we will provide you with certification as well. Again, when you go to the industry, you don't need only a diploma. You know what I mean? Because not is not good enough, especially nowadays. Everything changed so fast. This program, you will get certifications. It's about twelve certifications from three parties: Microsoft, Cisco, and Comptia. Comptia, you might not know what it is, but if you are in this industry, you say, oh, "Wow, Comptia is also very important." So, throughout the one year of studies, you also receive diploma or certification from Microsoft or Cisco. So, when you go to companies, again, you choose yourself, I'm a Microsoft certified expert, companies are willing to talk to you, they're excited, they say, well, you clearly know what you're talking about. So that gives you the chance to get a job. 100% of all students enrolled currently are working in the industry, 100%, whether it's part-time or in co-op. So it's, it's a very high number, and we're very proud of that. So Network System Solution, a fantastic program, uh, love it, uh, and I need to see more students successful in because the country and Vancouver needs administrators yes. a lot. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are so, so, so many opportunities, and also it's um, you know easier to uh, yes. to stay a bit longer and you know get um good because you know British Columbia runs uh, tech pilot yes. programs yes which benefits uh, th this industry correct so yeah just so much opportunity it's nice long term opportunity if you are in the tech field with the busy tech pilot as Peter mentioned is fantastic uh, yeah long 
you should know always when you have a long-term plan you need to cut it in pieces okay where am i going first what i'm going to do next and we are here to draw your career map you know yes. where first let's get you started on english let's get your english rolling then let's get you started in a career rethinking your career or uh, uh, what can I say? Emphasizing your career, doing something new, or redoing what you used to do, it doesn't matter. We're here behind you to make sure you reach your goals and uh, and then get you rolling into your co-op work experience and throughout your work experience, see what's going to happen next. So, yes, yeah, that's what we do. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. As I said at the beginning, I'm very impressed with the school and the programs, especially your approach, because I really, I can tell we are yeah like thinking like on the same way because yes. um you know i get a lot of messages and emails about like kind of specific you know mm -hmm. information and questions about about schools and programs and usually my first question is always like what do you actually want to achieve right What's your goal? not right it's just so right you, know, you don't want to come and study here you want something else yeah, right? right so yeah it's very important and, so I really like that. that uh, Thank you. Your approach. Thank you, Peter. It's Amazing. all about it's all about personal. Everybody yes. come with different dreams and goals. And uh, I always say to my students, I say, my job is to make your dream come true. Yeah. And uh, that's what we try. We awesome. don't always achieve it, but uh, <laughs> trying the best. We're trying our best, and we teach students a professional attitude and uh, being able to really. Uh, uh, get the best out of the Canadian experience. Awesome, awesome. All right, thank you so much. Thank uh, you for taking your time. My I pleasure. It was really good, and I think we should uh, we should probably uh, get uh, get together again and maybe talk about yes specific, specific programs individually, like, like a shorter sessions, shorter videos. For sure, for sure. I think yeah, there's so much to say about each program. They are so <laughs> different and sometimes very similar. The last word we should say, Peter, it's, uh, you know, again, Cornerstone family with uh, extremely, uh, you know, professional instructors. We are all about the industry. That's what we're all about. And uh, no matter where you're from, no matter where's your academic background, no matter if you're a professional background, please uh, get in touch with Peter. You know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be with you. We'll, you awesome. You're not alone. Awesome, okay. awesome, thank you. Yeah, so um, yeah, so if you want more, if you want to know more about uh, about Cornerstone, you can definitely check out the, the website and uh, social media accounts. I'm gonna paste the link uh, links below. Nice. And also check out our website. And if you have any any questions, uh, you can just uh, send me a message or email. And yeah, so awesome. Then, thank you so much. See you later, everybody. And see you later. Bye bye.